Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is about mechanism of breathing. Breathing is also called ventilation. It is exchange of gases. It consists of inhalation and exhalation. During inhalation, air moves inside the lungs and exhalation is basically removal of air from the body. Air is moved in and out of the lungs by differences in air pressure. So air will move from an area where its pressure is high to an area where its pressure is low. And that's how inhalation and exhalation occurs. Lungs are elastic and their volume increases and decreases. So what happens is if the volume of the lungs is increased then it means that the pressure inside the chest cavity decreases and as a result air will be drawn inside the lungs whereas if the volume of the lungs is decreased then pressure increases and it results in the removal of air from the body lungs are elastic organs but they solely cannot bring about changes in the volume of lungs mechanisms that bring changes in volume of lungs are basically two so first one is contraction of the intercostal muscles between ribs inter means between and costal means ribs so these are the muscles which are present between ribs and you know that lungs and heart they are very fragile organs they are enclosed in a rib cage and this rib cage they have ribs they have gaps in between them and these ribs have muscles between them so contraction of the intercostal muscles between the ribs and second is contra uh, contraction of the muscles in the diaphragm now these pictures will show you um, diaphragm and intercostal muscles in detail so basically this is a diaphragm it is a dome shaped structure it's a muscular sheath it's separate thoracic region from the abdominal region so basically you can see here thorax is separated from the abdomen by means of a diaphragm whereas intercostal muscles are found between ribs and there are two types one is called external intercostal muscles and the other is called as the internal intercostal muscles now you see external intercostal muscles are outside and internal are inside now you just put your hands on your chest and take a deep inhalation you can you will feel something you'll definitely feel your ribs and sternum which is a breastbone it will move upward and outward so that what happens in inhalation now you see here during inhalation rib cage moves up and out as a result chest cavity increases and volume of the lungs increases the lungs expand also lungs also expand or their volume also increases because of diaphragm diaphragm moves downward it contracts and moves downward it flattens during inhalation so there is maximum area for lungs to expand inside the chest cavity and as a result the pressure in the lungs decreases and air enters from the outside so air outside has high pressure inside it is uh, it is low so air from high pressure area moves into the low pressure area so that's what happens in inhalation and during exhalation what happens is rib cage it moves downward and inward you can see the arrows diaphragm it relaxes and it becomes dome shaped it moves upward the arrow indicates that upward position of the diaphragm lungs get smaller so pressure increases and then air is forced out of the lungs now this diagram also shows mechanism of breathing inspiration and expiration these arrows indicates diaphragm contraction when diaphragm contracts it flattens it moves downward and flattens and when diaphragm 
um, diaphragm relaxes it arches upward also ribs and sternum are raised during inhalation where in exhalation they are moved inward so as a result volume of thorax decreases and pressure increases here volume of thorax increases so pressure decreases so in inhalation these are the some steps you have to remember these steps internal intercostal muscles relaxes external intercostal muscles contract they act opposite to each other so inhalation external intercostal muscles contract basically so if it contracts the other muscles relaxes rib cage moves upward and downward diaphragm contracts and flattens volume of thorax cavity increases pressure in alveoli decreases and as a result air moves in and in exhalation internal intercostal muscles contract so when it contracts the other muscles relaxes rib cage moves downward and inward diaphragm relaxes volume of thorax cavity decreases pressure in alveoli increases as a result air moves outward so that's it i hope you have understood the mechanism of breathing thank you